In this tutorial, I'll show you how to apply digital makeup with the new Boris Continuum Complete 6 Smooth Tone Filter in Adobe After Effects CS4. BCC Smooth Tone is one of the 13 new filters included with the Boris Continuum Complete 6 product. The 13 new filters fall into four different category styles. 3D Objects, Painterly Filters, Image Restoration Filters, and OpenGL Filters. The Smooth Tone filter is one of the image restoration effects. It is designed primarily to smooth out surface bumps on a subject's flesh tones while preserving the image sharpness and detail contrast in other areas of the image, such as the eyes or teeth. Let's say you just completed a shoot with your new HD camera. When you go to edit the footage, you notice that the camera worked a bit too well, showing all the little imperfections of your model's skin in full detail. So instead of having to reapply the makeup to the model's face and reshoot, we can simply apply the BCC Smooth Tone Filter to the clip and apply digital makeup. So let's get started. Launch After Effects, create a new project, import the clip that you want to work with into the project, and bring your clip into a new composition. Click on the Effects and Presets tab, twirl down the BCC6 Colors and Blurs category, then select and apply the BCC Smooth Tone filter to the clip. The image is automatically smoothed by a small but clearly noticeable amount. For most images, the default setup should be sufficient, making this one of the easiest filters in the world to use. Pure and simple, drag and drop effects generation. Should you want to change the amount of smoothing that is being applied by the filter, there are several controls that you can adjust. For instance, the maximum deviation parameter. This affects the pixels in the image that are subject to change by spreading the applied smoothness over a wider or more narrow group of pixels in the original image. The iterations parameter serves as a way to repeat the filter effect by applying the filter over itself as many times as you ask. The built-in filter apply mode is used to control how the filter effect is blended or composited with the original image. This feature is included with most every filter in the BCC6 package and includes apply modes such as add, scale, multiply, overlay, and others. For most applications, leaving this function set to the default normal mode produces the best results. For those that require additional control over the filter, you can change the method pop-up from the default faster setting to smoother. This change reveals additional parameters in the filter user interface and gives you more options to control how the pixels in your image are smoothed. For instance, if you unlink X and Y parameters and then control the radius X or radius Y parameter independently of each other, you can smooth the subject by different amounts in the X or Y direction. Also note that you can take even greater control over the effect by using the built-in pixel chooser and motion tracker controls. The pixel chooser function contains the effect to within a user-generated region mask or mat, the position of which can be controlled automatically using the motion tracker. Now for all you perfectionists out there who want good results quickly and easily, I'll show you a trick using pixel chooser. First, turn on Pixel Chooser, then expand the Pixel Chooser submenu. Make sure Matte has been expanded, and where it says Channel and None, click on None and select Chroma Diff for Chroma Difference. Okay, next, it says Matte Type Levels, change Levels to Threshold, and then Color. So in the color, there's a little eyedropper tool. Click on that. And then select what you think is an average skin color from your subject. I would say the forehead gives us a nice average skin color there. OK. Next, you want to click Invert Matte, and you're almost done. Um, to just see how much this filter is working, go back to Pixel Chooser, where it says On, click, and select view chosen pixels instead. Okay, um, what this is showing you is dark areas as the pixels that are not being affected and lighter pixels will be affected. So we want as much of her skin 
uh, to be white, but we want her eyes and hair and clothes to stay dark. So how do we change that? Well, you have a threshold control here. If you increase the threshold, you increase the number of pixels that are getting changed. So you can see we have all of her face selected, um, but also now a lot of her hair and her blouse. Now threshold by itself might not be enough to get the effect you want, but there's even more control you can exert on this filter. Look at blur mat and choke mat. These will also help refine your selection. Blur mat will give a nice gradual transition between pixels that are lighter and pixels that are darker, and choke mat will actually do the opposite. It'll kind of smooth edges but increase the contrast between the affected areas. So, like I said, we want her skin to be as white as possible, but not her eyes or her hair. So let's increase the choke mat. Nice, uh, nice friendly image here, isn't it? Okay. Now, some of her cheek um, and neck are still kind of dark, but let's see how that looks. Go back to view chosen pixels, click on on, and we can see that the effect is not changing her eyes or her hair, but it is smoothing out her skin quite nicely. Um, to really see the difference between the two areas, you can increase the iterations. I'll increase it to 9. Uh, very unlikely uh, level of effect here. It's kind of like too much, you know, but you can still see that the eyes are unaffected, the hair is unaffected, lips, eyebrows, all nice and sharp. Let's turn it back to a more realistic level. Let's say two. Okay. And that is pretty much it. We have smoothed out all the little freckles on our actress's face. And the nice thing is that this filter will automatically update on every frame. So we are done. Her face is going to be smooth for the rest of time, or at least the time of the clip. For more help on using this and other filters in BCC6, note that every filter has a built-in PDF help file attached to it, which you can find by clicking the Help button conveniently located at the top of the filter banner in the Controls window. For more information on any Boris product or to download free, fully functioning 14-day trial versions, visit www.borisfx.com.